Hey everyone, Avelina here. How are you guys going? I hope you're going fabulous. I'm on fire with videos today. This is like my fourth one. So this is my oversized coffin wallet for the gorgeous death candy. If you don't know who Maria is, go and follow her on Instagram. She's stunning and she's just the sweetest person on earth. I absolutely adore her. So this little piece of merchandise was made with her in mind. She lives all the way over in Greece, so this has been sent to her and hopefully it will arrive very, very soon. I'm a huge fan of her style, so I just cannot wait to see what she does without collaboration. So let's talk about this. Let's start with the price. It is $99.95. It is an oversized wallet. What does that mean? It means it's, it's huge. <laughs> it means it's a lot bigger. I'm looking for a wallet, sorry. It's a lot bigger than a standard wallet, hence the price. It's more like a small clutch, actually. And once I show you all the design features you'll go ah I see what you did there Avelina I get it I get it so let's talk about this handle that I seem to be fondling um it's completely removable so you can carry it around like that or you can take the handle off and not do that super handy at the last minute I kind of added that because I'm like well what if I just want to run out to the shops and just take this I can fit my phone in that I usually don't do that because I haven't had a wallet or, or some kind of bag that I can fit just my phone and my wallet in. I know there's clutches. You're like saying, why don't you use a clutch? But I want something smaller than a clutch. And this oversized wallet, this is why I made this. It's heaps practical. I will grab my iPhone and show you that it fits inside it. It is an iPhone 8 Plus. It's like the massivest one you can get. Is that a word? <laughs> Either way, it fits in here and the Galaxy Samsung Galaxy? I, I'm not a Samsung person, sorry, but it, it will fit in here too. It's totally super duper huge. So, on one side we have a printing of a crescent moon that is debossed, like down embossed, debossed. <laughs> Let's go with that metallic printing. And on this side we have pentagrams with death, which totally fits with the theme because it's like a coffin. I'm really smart. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, I think filming four videos, I might go for five in one day is a bad idea because I'm kind of getting really like silly and playful, but yeah, maybe you guys will enjoy that. It is all faux leather, entirely 100% vegan friendly. It has a gorgeous velvet border. I'm so glad I added that in at the last minute. It also has this raised rope detail, basically just raised leather, but they put a little piece of rope underneath there. I don't know if you can see that. And it's just, it's really three dimensional. It's witchy as fuck and it is heaps practical. I just, I love staring at it. As I said in my unboxing, I'm like truly impressed with this piece. <laughs> Can I say that because I, I designed that? I don't mean that in an up myself way at all. I just, I think I nailed it with this one. I'm really, really pleased with that. Surely I'm allowed to be pleased with what I do. Same velvet border on the other side. So that's basically the front and the back. I like that it's, you know, it looks cool from both angles, not just the front. So when you open up the crescent moon side, you will see, ready, ready, ready. <gasps> A coffin-shaped mirror lined with pink velvet. It's stunningly beautiful and wait, it gets better. So over here we have a section for photo ID. Heaps practical. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine slots. So that, that's a decent amount. But can you see that they glitter patents? Look at that. Oh, when I was first introduced to Death Candy, to me she was all about fusing hot pink and black. You know, death and candy, just like her name, it's perfect. It's a great oxymoron and she pulls it off so well. If you purchase this, when you receive it, it will have a little cover over the mirror to protect it. But please keep in mind that it's not glass. I tried to use glass because they're super clear, but they break. So I've had to use these plastic ones and they're still clear, but they quality isn't as professional as glass. You know what I mean? But I really wanted to put a mirror in there. Like it's super duper fine. Did I just say that? It's super duper fine. Wow, I'm gonna add that into the description on my website. I'm just letting you know that it's not glass. Okay, don't expect it to be glass because it's not. Hello. Oh, I need to powder myself. I'm so hot. It's summer here. It's like 40 degrees outside and I'm wearing this lovely velvet dress. Isn't this gorgeous? Totally getting off track. Let's come back to this wallet. So that is the inside. Oh, a little feature I forgot to show you was that I made this part here a slip. So you could put receipts or a condom or whatever you need to 
put in there and be discreet, no one will know it's there. Be safe, people. Did I cross a line there? <laughs> Lines were made to be crossed. Another cool little feature of this is that it has a lunar moon as the zipper pull. Isn't that adorable? A lovely zipper. It is so smooth. So in this section here, it's lined with hot pink as well. Oh my gosh. So that's the section I'm saying is big enough for you to put your phone. You can put two phones if you have two. I don't know why you'd have two, but phones, lipsticks. You don't need a compact mirror because this has a compact, but I am designing a compact. So if you were going to buy that, you could put that in here. And it has a zipper here as well. That one is going to be probably for your coins and things like that. You could put like notes in one side and a lipstick in the other. It's very versatile, you know, I'm not going to tell you what to put in your wallet. Along with all my other products, this can be lay by it. If you're in Australia or New Zealand, you can afterpay it. There's actually an info button at my online store that um, helps you out with afterpay and a whole page on lay by. I even made a video that's on my channel to help show you how to put an order through at my online store and then set up a lay by. So if you need some help, just go and look for that video. I think I said this before, they're $99.95. We will need only 55 pre-orders for these. And I think we're already on eight, which again, super happy about. I know it doesn't sound like a huge number, but for me, the product hasn't even been released yet. You know, this is my launch video. And as I said, Death Caddy hasn't even got hers yet. So the promotion hasn't even started. So I'm heaps pleased about that. And I know a lot of you girls are adding this to your card, but not following through, you naughty girl. <laughs> so you're probably just checking prices and things like that, or you might put it on lay-by or come back at a later date. It's all exciting. So we won't need as many pre-orders, but we will need to get to 55 before I'm able to pay the manufacturing deposit and then manufacturing eight to 12 weeks, blah, 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 blah. I feel like I'm skimming over things a little bit because I've done like three of the same videos. But maybe it'll be more to the point. Maybe it'll get rid of my bullshit because I kind of bullshit a lot. <laughs> so yeah, let me know if you prefer this video style. So yeah, back to this wallet. I adore the girl that I made it for. I adore every girl that I do a collaboration for. This is just so perfect. And if you want to see if it fits inside the Black Friday large handbag, go and watch that video. I've probably got that one on already. It does. I put so much stuff in that bag. It's ridiculous. I can't think of much else to say about this other than I love it. And I hope you guys love it as much as I do. And you definitely need this in your life. You would just look cooler holding it next to your face. Look at that. I love it. I absolutely fucking love it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you've been enjoying all of the videos where I showcase my new babies. I do have some new collaborations in the works as well. I've already started working on one design for a little lass that I'm not going to announce just yet. Maybe I did already. I can't remember if that was a live Instagram feed or if I... Anyway, it doesn't matter. Some of you might know what I'm talking about. Just ate a hair. <laughs> Please go on over to my Instagram, follow me there. If you already follow me, ask one of your friends to follow me. Um, let's get this shit spread out a little bit more. I'm so close to 10,000. And the, I hope there's another hurdle in between 10,000 because 10,000 to 100,000 is such a big difference. I think I'm going to have to celebrate like 25,000, but let's, let's just focus on 10,000 baby steps. We're almost there. Super excited. Possibly by the time I put this video on, we will be at 10,000. And I've done that in a year. Organically, I've done no marketing. None of that clickbait bullshit. I've not paid. You know, the, those things you can do insta for. I always get those advertising. I'm not finishing a sentence. I'm so fucking sorry. I constantly get advertisements sent to me via email for my YouTube channel, blah, blah, blah. Sign up. We can get you like lots of followers, you know, $5 for a thousand followers. I'm like, dude, I want real followers, you know, even though I'm almost on 10,000, I still think it has a lot of potential to grow, but I want it to grow organically and I want it to grow genuinely, you know? And I feel that that's happening every time, you know, a bit of promotion happens with a new bag or something and I get a bunch of followers, everything seems to go up. Likes go up, views on my stories go up, um, the amount of DMs go up, you know? Where all those sites that are trying to like sign me up and overnight you can magically have 30,000 followers, that's bullshit. It's just like empty accounts from Russia or something like that. Like. That's not what I'm about. If we're going to do this, we're going to do this genuinely. Rant is over. <laughs> I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about this dress that I'm wearing. It is actually a dress. 
I bought it off Depop. I am going to do a Depop haul very, very soon. Whew. All right, I think I'm done for today. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment. I will see you in the next video. If you love this wallet as much as I do, please head on over to my website and pre-order it. I will see you guys very soon.